So we have uh, Gulf Transit here is going to give an update, and before Gulf Transit gives an update, I want you to know that everyone gets frustrated with transit agencies. People inside of them get frustrated too, so please be understanding. They're trying to help. Um, when you put blame on certain things, say your bus is late, think about it for a second. Who's in charge of the roads? It isn't Gulf Transit. Transit priority measures, that's the roads department. So. Uh, Let's uh, let's hear from Andrea. Oh my God, this, I, I knew I was going to do it. Mikola, Andrea Mikola is her name. She's a supervisor of. And I had it here. Transit planning and scheduling. Thank you. Hi, I'm Andrea Mikola. Um, I've been with Guelph Transit for about seven months now. Um, but I've been in the uh, transit business for about seven years. Um, I went to school for uh, transit planning as well. I'm also a daily user of four different transit agencies. So Guelph well, Transit, GRT, Greyhound, and Go, all, all of those different ones. So everything you've been speaking about today really resonates with me. Um, so I'm just going to be providing an update on the Guelph Transit Business Service Review. Um, a business service review for Guelph Transit was completed in 2019 to examine the relevance, effectiveness, and efficiency of Guelph Transit services to ensure resources are allocated to achieve the best outcomes for the city and to support long-term sustainability. So there were 12 recommendations made as part of this business service review. Eight recommendations have reached major milestones to achieve the goals of the service review, and three recommendations are part of ongoing internal processes. So these recommendations are set a funding and fair pricing policy based on revenue to cost performance range, expand and rebrand the community bus service, conduct an operational route review looking at both holistic system changes as well as individual route modification, Develop a Guelph Transit strategic plan within the context of the Transportation Master Plan to provide direction for conventional mobility and specialized transit service to 2040. Discontinue the morning shuttle service pilot project to Guelph Central Station. Review and renew the co-fare contract. Develop an operator recertification program to support service reliability, safety, and consistency. Implement staffing adjustments to increase capacity for return to work, wellness, recruitment, and retention challenges and to support the efficient and effective management and administration of core business, improve reporting methods related to vehicle maintenance, implement the new fare box program with the capability for reusable tap and go passes, or as we often call them smart cards, develop a pilot program to, to test the service gains of improved scheduling and increased capacity from intelligent on-demand transit software with mobility service, and assess feasibility for low density and low utilization applications. And lastly, stabilize the workforce levels to ensure sustainable provision of current level of service and reduction of overtime through base staff staffing increase of 19 drivers to be phased in over six years. The key impacts of these recommendations were intended to be improved conventional service reliability, increased service levels on the community bus, greater accuracy of data leading, leading to improved controls in performance management and reporting, an increase in safe and defensive driving, customer service and safe work practices, potential increased capacity for mobility and on-demand customers, increased revenue potential alongside increased costs, and consistent service standards to aid in decision making. I will now provide an overview of the status for each recommendation. So recommendation one of set a funding and fair pricing policy based on a revenue to cost performance range. This is part of an ongoing system of setting fair pricing. The revenue to cost performance range is at the appropriate levels to maintain the current fair pricing policy. Recommendation two, expand and rebrand the community bus service. Consultation on public needs and wants for the community bus was conducted in May 2019. A recommendation report was submitted to Council earlier this week uh, for review. Recommendation 3, conduct an operational route review looking at both holistic system changes as well as individual route modification. The position of route review specialist was posted for internal and external applicants in June 2019. Interviews were conducted for the position in July 2019 and the position has now been filled. 
The Review and Planning Program, also known as RAP, was initiated in April 2019 to perform monthly group reviews and has completed reviews for nine groups so far. Recommendation four, develop a Guelph Transit Strategic Plan in the context of the Transportation Master Plan to provide direction for conventional mobility and specialized transit service to 2040. This is an ongoing process and subject to development of the Transportation Master Plan as was outlined by Jenny earlier. Recommendation five, discontinue the morning shuttle service pilot project to Guelph Central Station. Uh, the shuttle was discontinued in spring 2019. Recommendation six, review and renew the co-fare contract. The co-fare co contract has been received and is currently under review. Recommendation seven, develop an operator recertification program to, to support service reliability, safety, and consistency. This is an ongoing process. A course for de-escalation techniques is being developed for transit operators. Another course for additional transit supervisor career, de career development is also in development. Recommendation eight of implementing staff adjustments to increase capacity for return to work, wellness recruitment and retention challenges, and to support the efficient and effective management and administration of core business. Uh, the positions of manager of transit business services and a human resources advisor for transit were hired in 2019. Recommendation nine, improve reporting methods related to vehicle maintenance. This is part of all city asset management programs to replace uh, WAM and fleet management information systems. Uh, the completion is anticipated in two to three years. Uh, recommendation 10, implement the new fare box program with the capability for reusable tap and go passes. The tender to implement the new fare boxes was awarded to Payment in Motion in May 2019 and the position of project manager for the uh, electronic fare management system was hired in June 2019. Recommendation 11, develop a pilot program to test the service gains and in, from intelligent on-demand transit software with the mobility service. A contract was signed with RICO to implement on-demand mobility service and the pilot has been underway for several months. And the final recommendation of stabilizing the workforce levels to ensure sustainable provision of current level of service and reduction of overtime. Um, the number of full-time operators has increased from 167 in January 2019 to 176 in July 2019. And that's uh, all of my updates. for all of our presenters today. So if you have any questions, um, just raise your hand.